every morning and I have to tell myself that it will be okay otherwise I won't leave my apartment for days at a time. So, it's not always what you see. No shit. We all don't wake up easy, the fuck? That's not no confession, bro. I would've made her go again. People share their secret anonymously in Chicago. Let's see what, what kind of secret they got going on in the rat, you feel me? Let's see what's going on. Hi, my secret is I'm a haberstophile. I'm sexually attracted to like stuff like murderers and like serial killers, like fictional or like real life. What? And like for me, it's like the violence gets me off and uh, <laughs> I'm pretty much on the sadistic side. I'm just weird like that. And a lot of it's expressed through my art. Folks, there's a lot of crazy ass people out here in this world, bro. You guys need to be careful, bro. I'm not gonna target anybody. I'm not gonna say who to look out for, but you guys need to be careful nonetheless, bro. You already see how people like like her are moving already. Apparently we love killers. Hell no, bro. Hell no. That shit sick of hell. Okay, so one time I had this ex that cheated on me with some random girl i found out who the girl was started talking to her and i started dating her as well as the talking to my ex still and i found out that she had a boyfriend so i end up dating him as well so i end up dating all three of them at the same time and they didn't even know When I was 16, I had a roommate um, that she spoke English as well, but her mother language was Russian. And most of the kids in our boarding school spoke Russian as well, including her friends. So they would always come to our room and they would speak Russian to each other and look at me and giggle. I had a feeling they were saying things about me, but I wasn't sure. Uh, and then one time I got pink eye from another kid in school. And every time they came, they would like, make gestures to their eyes and look at me and laugh and I was getting a little upset. So one night uh, she slept at her friend's room and I was alone. So I rubbed my face on her pillow a couple of times with the pink eye, um, hoping she would get it too. And she did eventually. I honestly don't feel that bad about it. I, they stopped making fun of my pink eye after that. So that's my secret. Let me be honest, this is why I never really cared for roommates, bro. Even if I did go to some four-year college type shit, I do not need no roommate, bro. I do not. I'm not sleeping with no motherfucker if I don't know you, bro. You're not sleeping in my proximity, bro. There needs to be a closed door between us if I don't know you. This bitch is rubbing pink eye on people's pillows and shit. Like, that shit foul. Okay. What? When I was a little kid, when I was first learning how to clip my toenails, and my mom stopped doing it, and I finally learned, I didn't know what it, uh, what it tasted like, a toenail, so the first time I did it, I ate all ten of my toenails. <laughs> the fuck? Sometimes I think that I should have been a man because I'm so dominant. So when I see women, it's like... Why can't you be a dominant woman? Damn, shorty. If I was a man, I would have told her ass up. <laughs> Just buy a strap there, bitch. <laughs> In 2009, I probably was the only one of my friends to buy Justin Bieber's album. <laughs> but it was worth it. Just be regassed, huh? Okay, so my secret is just about every time I'm in an elevator by myself, without fail, I'll pretend like I'm opening and closing the doors using my mind, kind of like the force. And I'm also making the elevator go up and down using my mind as well. 
That's my secret. I feel like one secret I do have would be that I'm kind of afraid of rejection. I can give an example of this too. Uh, anytime I would shoot my shot with a beautiful woman or a companion, it would be like either three reasons why they would say no. Either they don't feel the same way, they feel like I'm more of a friend to them and they don't really want to lose that relationship, or it's because they just see me like a brother. And I kind of understand that. But at the same time, it's just like, ah. Uh... Yo, let me go ahead and drop a gem for you, bro. If you're talking to a girl and she's your crush, bro, and she see you like a brother, and you know when you're seen like a brother, bro. Look for better. Don't don't waste no time looking, bro. Don't don't waste no time pushing, waiting on this girl, bro. Life moves on. You gotta move on. Pick up where you left off. Uh. Little eye thumbs. This nigga got thirteen year old thumbs. I have commitment issues. Very scared of marriage. I don't trust nobody. I feel like everyone's out for self. Mainly because I grew up a sad nigga. Yeah. And I seen what's been done to a lot of males. I don't want it done to me. People think I'm a really happy person and that I have my life together. Um, but I actually really struggle to get out of bed every morning and I have to tell myself that it will be okay otherwise I won't leave my apartment for days at a time. So, it's not always what you see. No shit. We all don't wake up easy, the fuck? That's not no confession, bro. I would've made her go again. I don't want to tell anybody this, but uh, when I went to boot camp, my girlfriend, well, it was my girlfriend, she sent me a letter and broke up with me. But I ain't crying for nobody in a, uh, in a barracks, but uh, when I went to sleep, I cried myself to sleep above. Damn, I know that pain. Sometimes pretend to be afraid of horror films, because I don't know, sometimes I just want to be held by my boyfriend, but I'm really not scared because I really love horror films. I thought I was going to kill myself five years ago, so I didn't make a plan for my future, and now I don't know what I'm doing. Just living. Mm. Um, so one time, when I was maybe five or six, I was in the grocery store with my mom, okay. and we were at the, the cash register, and I stole a pack of, of Hubba Bubba bubble gum and I got home and I felt so deeply guilty what? for having stolen that it sat in the drawer of my bathroom for years and years and years what? and I never- the Stolen gum be the best gum. Ate it and then like a couple of years ago, I finally threw it out and I can never bring myself to eat it. Cause what? I- What? The stolen food is the best food. Felt so guilty. You gotta eat that. What? So my secret is, oh, no. basically I got locked up for a domestic that I didn't do. So what happened was an argument had happened. I wasn't from this particular town. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go cause I really don't like confrontation. So as I was trying to leave, this person was kind of throwing stuff and pretty much I didn't fight or not, whatnot. But um, I seen that it was going too far past words. So I called the cops for my protection. <laughs> And um, I finally found a way to get outside and I waited on the cops. Again, I wasn't from this particular area. I am from Chicago. And whew, the cops came. The gentleman barely questioned me. I actually did have uh, red marks on my neck and everything. The next thing I know, another cop had showed up. Um, they asked for my ID. Next thing I know, I'm getting handcuffed. The guy didn't even tell me what I was getting handcuffed for. I'm like panicking. I got PTSD, so I'm sitting here like, why am I getting locked up? I called you guys for my protection. I just wanted to walk away, grab my belongings. I've never been locked up. I've never been in trouble. 
come to find out from other people that live in this particular area, this particular city, that if you look a certain way and you're from Chicago, you get looked at different. Um, too many people view Chicago as being bad if you're dressed in an urban manner. Like they judge the book before getting to know you. So unfortunately, I was locked up for three days. Had a lot of nightmares, got through it. Everything was dropped. I was cleared. The judge even apologized to me. Um, it, it's messed up though because I grew up on you when you were in on? trouble, called the cops. Now I think differently. And the sad part is I know all cops ain't bad, but this is my secret. I got out of it and I got out of it because I chose positivity and I chose to go forward and not backwards. Oh shit, she looked different than what I thought. I found out that slavery still exists. We are told that it doesn't. It is most times shunned away from. It is avoided. The fact that it being mentioned is ridiculed, but it actually still exists through oh, the real. prison system. I unfortunately became a victim of a pen myself for three and a half years That's for obvious. an event that never took place. And I depended on the system, trusted the system in order to find the truth and deal with the truth. And unfortunately, I was put back in a position to be made a slave again. We think that it has stopped because there is no more cotton fields. We think that it has stopped. All right, Unc. Get your bald ass off here, bro. Unc came up here trying to drop a speech, bro.